A string of four consecutive bowl victories came to an emphatic halt for the Gators, who were stunned by a Louisville Cardinals team that wasted little time at proclaiming dominance in the Sugar Bowl. The impact of the very first play from scrimmage going the other way, did you talk to Jeff or the team after that and just kind of how you reacted to that first play? You still have the whole game to play. You know, we, we had plenty of opportunities in the game to win the game and we didn't get it done. And that's one play in the game and one play doesn't win or lose a game. You can't let it affect you. We went back to that play a couple times later in the game. But um, as a quarterback, you got to shake it off. And uh, at that time, we had the whole game in front of us. So you can't let a play like that affect you for the rest of the game. As for the culprit in this one, well, you can start with the Gators defense, inability to get off the field on third downs. On the season, Florida was holding opponents under 30% conversion on third downs. But on this night, Louisville converted 64%. And a school record 194 penalty yards didn't help either. Not being able to get off of third downs, you know, it, it cost us tonight our defense. You know, um, I don't know what actually uh, the percent of third down um, they went on us, but um, it wasn't pretty, you know, whether guys making mistakes or not executing the calls that were made you know, by our coaches, you know, um, it just hurts not to get off the field. We've been so good on third down the whole year, you know, tonight not to uh, be good on third down is really disappointing. We weren't very disciplined today, and uh, it's probably from the layover, and uh, that's one of our main focus all season, and we just weren't focused on it today. Bridgewater and his uh, receivers are real good. They, they, they play with each other, they understand each other, and. And we, the coaches, their coaches called the plays and they executed. So, I mean, after you go 0-3, 0-6 on third down, now you start to wonder, all right, come on, we got to step it up a little bit. Let's play, let's play how we play. A victory would have given Florida a nation's best six wins in BCS Bowls. Instead, a 10-point loss in the Sugar Bowl ends their season on a sour note. But to a man, the players that we talked to said this doesn't take away from an 11-win season. We've had a great year. We're building something here. We're building a program, and this is an unfortunate setback, and it's one game. So we still won 11 games, and we still did a lot of very positive things, in my opinion, uh, this season. Obviously, this is a sour day and a sour note, and I apologize to our fans and the university. But uh, that we've had a great year and we're, we're moving this thing forward at a rapid pace. And I'm excited about where we are, very disappointed with the outcome today, but uh, very positive as we move forward. This doesn't take away from anything, you know. I mean, the better team won. Ball didn't bounce our way at certain times, so it, that's just how it unfolded. But this doesn't take away from what we've done this year. We did have a great year, 11 wins. Um, but at the end of the day, we didn't come through today and uh, we didn't make enough plays. So um, it's unfortunate, but come... Uh, January 7th, we're going to be refocused and ready to go for next season.